Hello, this is the second part of the extraction. As you can see, this is the uh, the wormwood, and this is the layer of the chlor uh, where the chlorophyll of the wormwood has been extracted with some of the oil residue. If I uh, take this UV lamp at 295 200, uh, uh, nanometers and fire, let me turn off this, this flash part, fire this light, at it. Can you see? Pinkish red. It's red but it turns pink. This is a chlorophyll underneath the light. This is an indication that the chlor the chlorophyll and other stuff is being is being um is is is, is being extracted. Also if we look at it like this, it, it might be very hard to see, but it's stirring. And what I'm trying to do is to get is to get the chlor the chlorophyll to be removed as well. And when the chlorophyll is removed, you also get, you also get the, um, hopefully you will get the, um, it's qualitative. I, I, hopefully you will get, you, you, you will get the, um, what's the chemical? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, Fujona, which is a, a soluble in alcohol, um, type, tertiary, um, lactone compound. It's not an alkaloid, so I can't really test for it. Because it's not an alkaloid, I can't use Dragendorf to determine it, and I don't have any equipment that would determine what it is. But as you can see, this is mineral oil. I, I, I just added about ten or about five, six millimeters, uh, approximately, in sessions of two. So that's about twelve millimeters extra in here. And it's getting quite, quite warm. Although. It says 231 degrees Celsius and, and 122 degrees, 1220 rotations per minute. If I check the uh, thermometer, it's already at 40, 42.3 degrees Celsius, which, which, I, which is what I want that. And it's, it, it's designed, as you can see, steam in that is starting to condense onto it if you look very carefully I don't know how but a little bit of resin is boiling with it a, a little bit of resin with a resin from the um, from from this material got on the flask I mean it's from when I poured it in but what was happening is the resin is heating up condensing heating up condensing but it's not almost boiling like it has to it, when, when it gets some um, when it when it gets to about uh, four, uh, 45, 50 degrees Celsius, you see you start to see bubbles, which is you can't see it now, but you're starting to see bubbles. I'm, I'm going to continue to do this, and you have to know that uh, you have to be care careful where you spray this stuff because it can be very harmful to the bees because it is a a, a, um, a, 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 a nerve poison. It, it is it affects GABA, it blocks the GABA receptors, lead to convulsions. And as I said in the first write-up, we don't know the actual lethal dose for humans. I suggest it could be like nicotine, 500 milligrams to a gram orally. This would only contain maybe 100 to 200 milligrams of it. So if you're making an insecticide, you have to be quite prudent. I don't recommend anybody under 18, or if they don't know what to do, and do this because you could be poisoned if you don't do what you're doing. This green color is not from the... Um, this green color is from probably from the chlorophyll because the UV the UV light turned red, pinkish. So if you if I, if I do this again, you can see it turns sort of pinkish. If I turn off the flash again, you can see it works quite well. I turn off this light again. I I fire it at it. You can see it works very well. So I have some indications that my my results are quite well for what I can do with the lab. And this hot plate, you have to basically set it for a higher temperature. I thought it wasn't working well, but you just have to set it for a higher, set, higher temperature. And once you turn it off and on, you press it and you set it. It is a really good hot plate, despite the fact it's very expensive. It's a really good brand. I just wasn't using it properly, I think. As I've been checking the solution. It's slow to heat up, but it's coming close to 45 degrees. And that that took about 15 minutes to heat up. That's because it was at a higher temperature. It, if, you, if you have it at 100 and 
30 degrees, 147 degrees Celsius. It takes forever to reach that. It won't reach that, so you need a higher temperature. It's just that I wasn't really good at the setting. So this is a, a little short video on what what has happened with, with my extraction. I will write uh, do a write up on YouTube of this quite uh, quite uh, soon. It's just that I think this will work quite well as an insecticide. It's just that uh, uh, as you can see, you'll probably lose a lot of the insecticide because the liquid will absorb into the leaves, and you have to filter it in like. It with uh, coffee filters and that kind of stuff without breaking them. So it might, you might lose a lot of it, so that's the only problem with it. That's something you have to notice, that this stuff might not work well because the leaves. A solid extractor method might be a little bit better. Solid extractor method. If you have that technology or you have that equipment, I strongly recommend you do that because this is this. You need, you need at least a liter or some amount of alcohol to make it work. This is 800 milliliters of alcohol, and it's not doing the job as much. It consumes all the alcohol in the bottom. It's inconsistent heat in that, so it might be better to use a small flask and have a and have a a, a, a solid extractor with with uh, cotton swabs or cotton sponges or whatever they are with the with the amount of powder just. Extract it over and over and over to get a high concentration. This might not work well, but it's the, it's the thought that counts, and you're trying it. If I were people to try, maybe they could do something differently. That's the whole point of being on YouTube, I think. Thank you for watching.